Jupiter is in Taurus. He has been there uh, for nearly nine or ten months. Practically speaking, I have observed ever since he has moved into Taurus, although it's supposed to be the enemy's house, he has done um, well just for the world economy itself. Not that every country is the same, but overall in general, uh, the economy has improved. And I have personally observed, uh, including myself, uh, the economic situation has improved ever since he has moved into Taurus. Because Jupiter is a very benevolent planet. He's also called a guru, you know, and represents compassion and uh, uh, purity and ability to do good things. And he has uh, generally, as far well as I have observed, good things to so many people. So he's going to now move uh, into um, Gemini in May sometime. So he's going to be here for only a few weeks uh, uh, before he moves into Gemini in May. So I want you to take advantage of, uh, of Jupiter's uh, presence in Taurus. Uh, to increase the Jupiter energy within you and then seek for the blessings uh, of Jupiter. So Jupiter in general is, uh, is Guru himself. Jupiter will be coming to Taurus only after 12 years. So there are uh, many things that you can do. You can uh, worship Jupiter through his mantras. Uh, you can go and do the um, virtual puja for Jupiter during the Jupiter Hora and then enhance that energy on Jupiter days which is Thursdays that uh, you can um, meditate on Jupiter and uh, keep uh, a pure consciousness uh, by remaining alert and then uh, and be alert uh, in receiving his grace Asurved also has planned uh, special uh, Homa services during this time, so we can take advantage of that. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwaraha, Guru Shakshat Param Brahma. Tasmi Sri Gurave Namaha is a, a very common mantra for Guru, which is it says Guru is Brahma, Guru is Vishnu, Guru is also Shiva. So Guru is all powerful and he is in the finance house of the Kala Purusha, which, which, which is generally speaking the horoscope of of the entire earth plane.